Right, I was coming back from a bike show the other week and uh, she started running a bit rough, popping and banging. Luckily I was only a few hundred metres away from home, so managed to struggle back. Um, checked my battery and it was down to 9.5 volts. I'll show you a picture. Basically try to charge it up when the battery's goosed. So, got a new battery, put that on, as you can see, nice new battery in there. Checking the charging and the voltage is pretty high. So, I'll, show, I'll get it started up and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so we're at 12.9 volts. Maybe a little bit so you don't vibrate as much. So about 30 volts to tick over, about 3,000. I think it's pretty safe to say my Zener diode's on its way up. I'm, I'm happy the status charging, the rectifier's converting it to DC. The Zener diode's supposed to kick in about 13 and a half, 14 volts and stop it over volting. We're getting, as you've seen there, over 15 and a half volts and it's creeping up slowly. So that's what's cut the original battery. Rather than replace the Zener diode and everything, I've got a solid state rectifier regulator to go on. So this is what I bought, it's a, a Lucas, as you can see by the box, because we all know and love you Lucas. Solid state rectifier regulator, replaces the Zeno diode and the regulator, not regulator, but the rectifier that's over 40 years old now, so we ain't going to get a decent replacement for that. Comes with all the bits and pieces that I've just thrown down there, but I probably want to use, and instructions. Now this one's wired positive earth, so basically all we need to do is pick up the two wires from the single phase stator, Plumb onto the yellows and put the red and the black onto the battery, bolt that to the frame. How hard can it be? I'll get the battery off and see what room we've got in there. So here's a rectifier. That's a frame earth, that one. Remember it's positive earth. This one is my negative. Goes to the rest of the system so I can just solder those two wires together and get rid of that female spade. And these two, the green and yellows, and the green and white are the two from the stator. So we'll get those two unplugged. Get rid of those and the Zener diode, you can't just see it, it's just in here. Just there. Out of the way, not to see the around a bit, but there we go, it's in there. So we'll get rid of that in its entirety. Just like that. Eternity later. So that's a rectifier out. Want to learn how it works? Go see Electro Boom. He likes his full bridge rectifiers. That'll be going on the shelf as a spare because it still works. So I've had a measure up. That will fit in there. I'll only get one bolt in there, which is a bit disappointing, but it's in a safe place. It's not going to disappear. It's just to stop it moving around. I can then solder everything and tuck this wiring loom up the back underneath there. So I'll get this drilled out and we'll get a nut and bolt fitted on. Right, nothing under there. It's going to catch. Mm. 
Right, I'm now going to spend the next 15 minutes trying to get this nut on the bottom of that. Wish me luck. Without dropping it. Ugh, fucking hell. Three hours later. Okay, I've been trying to get washes on the bottom. I've lost three already. Don't tell anyone. I'll do. So what I've done here, made up some ring connectors on the ends, a couple of spades on there, we'll get them connected up, we'll get this end put on and we'll get all this wiring squirreled away and tidied up. I won't bore you with that. Five minutes later. Right, so yellows go to either of these. Doesn't matter. Red will go to positive on the battery with that one. Black onto that one with the main. So I'll get those sorted out. Notice I've got an inline fuse on that as well as a main fuse which is quite handy. Way nicely. Move that earth out of the way and get rid of that. And the positives. See if there are any sparks first. Nothing, which is a good sign. Piss around in a bit tidying those wires up. Let's see if we can get it to charge up. Come on, old girl. A few moments later. So we take over. Let's take over 3,000 red. Move your big door. Try that again. So, apart from a battery, all that little upgrade has cost me is about 30 of His Majesty's finest pounds and a couple of fake sins, you know, little consumable parts like spade connectors and that. Um, Gone for a run out this weekend, so see how well it charges. Seems to be holding quite stably now. Much better 14.5 volts rather than 15, creeping up to 16. Um, hopefully, it won't bowl this battery. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.